Hello mga kasubs and welcome to the Sarsicos TV. My name is Mark and for tonight we will be listening and reacting to Love Bites and the song Puppet on Strings. I like it. I love it. <laughs> I'm missing my uh, sound box. Recommended by uh, Chad, the Dragon Lord Chad. Thank you for this recommendation. Also, thank you to all our viewers and uh, subscribers for your interaction. So if you're not yet subscribed, you know what to do. To our dear members and sponsors for the interaction and extra loving Maraming salamat, wag sana kayo magsawa, and finally do check out our, two hour, chat, two hour, two other channels, Potion Hillio and Catherine Daily Vlog. And without any uh, further delays, let's give this song a go in 3, 2, 1.
And that is the end of the song. <clears throat> so the uh, the song starts with that nice fat, you know, drum roll, you know, and then you know the the uh, ever uh, distinct um, harmonic guitar, uh, you know, arrangement. Uh, so this picture, by the way, you know, very nice to see uh, them holding other guitars. You know, that was a uh, like some sort of a vintage um, strap, or you know, just a strap. <laughs> I don't know if it's vintage, but <clears throat> whenever I see a uh, um, a non-solid colored um, strap, it feels uh, vintage to me. You know, with the, with those with that like brown color or sunburst or something. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, I had the chance, speaking of uh, Fender, there was one time at band camp where I got to hold a, uh, I don't know how vintage it is or if it were like a uh, repro repro reproduction, but the uh, in terms of finish, it looks old, but you know, it's hard to say whether it was, uh, you know, but uh, what I notice about the pickup, very noticeable, is that the, uh, you know, those met round metal um, um, part of the pickup are you know pointed in uh, in uh, are at an angle and also some are ele more elevated than the other so uh, so that's like where I feel that ah okay th this looks expensive based on uh, setup because the usual pickups I see are just you know flat and yeah round and then they're flat they're on the same level and they're not in uh, <coughs> they're they were not they're not on any ang angle Anyway, let's. Uh, I think when I looked at it, it was somewhere around 60, 70 k. Uh, if it, if we just directly convert it into uh, into dollars, that would have been uh, about 12, 12,000. Yeah. So let's continue. Uh, so the, if this is your first time uh, seeing or watching a uh, a love bites um, video or song you will be uh, surprised when you see them performed live because here you, you can see uh, pictures of them uh, off stage or you know in somewhat in their personal lives or something you know they here they they look like uh, like models uh, you can see some of them were are wearing in are, are in their swimsuits so you, you won't see the me um you won't really uh you like see the connection like are are they the uh, the ones playing this song or are these like random you know pictures or was this a picture of the uh, uploader that kind of uh thing J just like this one you see they're they're, they're so uh bright and you know there it's just pictures of them going out hanging out to the you know the park or, or something here it looks like some sort of mall you know but when you see them perform live you know they are like beasts you know yeah <laughs> um my my favorite parts of, of the uh, song are as follows so the first one you know the music itself uh if it I, I can see the music being used like a uh, like a closing song, you know, um, movies that ends on a uh, some sort of cliffhanger, uh, some sort of uh, you know that that the those action cliffhanger or maybe the, those horror genre cliffhanger, for example. Uh, let me think of something. The last one I've watched, so it's not really action, but it has some horror suspense in it. Um, Escape Room. You know, uh, it it does show. Uh, is that cliffhanger? Escape Room Two was the the cliffhanger. Uh, they were in a uh, plane, I think, back home, and then they realized that was still part of the uh, the game. So this song can can ha ha adds that excitement. It adds that thrill to the to a movie. So I, I feel that it can complement a an actual movie. If we take out the, uh, if we make this into some sort of instrumental, uh, there's one video game I suddenly thought about because of the, you know, because of the harmony. You know, when when I listen to their harmony, it it 
it gives me that uh, medieval feels, you know, the, or those barbarian warrior feels, you know, like He-Man and stuff. So, uh, so uh, as I listened, especially to the uh, this part, two minutes seventeen, you know, that instrumental part leading to the uh, the lead part of the song, it reminded me of Altered Beast <laughs> for some reason. So, for those who did do, who know Altered Beast, so it does reveal <laughs> we we are pr- practically like in the same uh, age demographic. For those who do not know um uh altered beast well <laughs> it's a uh, it's a video game from sega uh, i believe you know and sega was i think 32 is a 32 bit 32 bit console and yeah i just dig the uh the uh um that game you know very cool during that time uh anyway what adds to the uh, so in, in, in what adds to the uh, excitement you know the hard hitting charge of the uh, song uh, is the drums I, I love the drum work here uh, very solid um, during the lead part you can feel that the pace of the uh, the lead parts uh, can be uh, are, are, are like fast like sweeping fast however what uh, from a drums perspective what the, what the drummer did was she made she focused on the solidness of the sound so not more on the speed so it's like a nice combination so you know it's it's like uh having uh sweet and salty at the same time so here she she really did some solid work on the 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 toms so there was that part where she did that you know that kind of you know some kind of um tom tom works and then uh, as they exit, uh, as they co- finish the lead part and then move to the, uh, go back to the chorus, that's where she, she went back to the double bass. So, very solid work because, you know, it, she really uh, uh, maximizes all, all the hardware and, you know, it's, it requires not just upper but also lower, um, how do we describe that, you know, strength, if I may, and consistency, so, you know. It really is a full, like a full body workout. So there you have it. That's my reaction. Let me know what you think. Leave it in the comments. And if you haven't done it yet, these are the stuff you can do to show loving to our channel. Don't forget to tell your friends. Uh, don't forget to you know try as many as you can. Don't forget to tell your family and friends about the Sarsicles TV. Sharing is caring. And most importantly, stay safe, everyone. I'll see you on the next video.